Hey everybody, this is Brandon, Cool Blue, uh, cool blue Brandon from uh, the Hidden Pioneers, and we are here with the legendary Bob Rosas right here, and he's actually taking a look at Bill Montgomery's uh, past treasures that uh, Bob Rosas and Larry Wood have given, given him. Um, unfortunately, Larry Wood can't join us. He actually just left, and we just missed him, but we still have Bob here, and uh, tell the folks at uh, Hidden Pioneers, Bob, how you doing? I'm doing great today. This is just perfect in here. There's a lot of room and a lot of uh, collectors. Brent, Brendan Kuski was here earlier. And uh, of course, the, the team from the convention are over there. That's Mark and Jennifer Milholland. This is kind of special because this one I'm looking at now was done for. Uh, the Mexico City 50th anniversary, Mattel sent me and my wife down there. Can you believe that? I had been out of Mattel since 69. Wow. Here in 2018, they called me up and said, can you go to Mexico City? So this one here is, is uh, quite a rare car to find it in pink. And it was only done in Mexico for production. Not many of them would find it. If you see one, they're worth about $2,000. Wow. That's a lot. 2000 yes. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see all these from past shows and stuff. Here's some flyers, uh, sign sheets from previous conventions that uh, we did. And uh, I, I have to throw a couple of these in here for Bill. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So. Even I bought a big sack of Hot Wheels. I, I still feel like, you know, I don't like to say it, but I do because, you know, I'm in a stage now where I'm kind of like trying to get rid of things. And here I am still buying toys. You know? But uh, I had a friend named Roy Duncan Ward. He passed about four years ago. He was still ordering Hot Wheels. Special Hot Wheels, the kind you mail in for the day he died. He was so obsessed with them or loved them so much he wanted to take them with him. Can you imagine? Anyway, he was quite a guy. But uh, here you've got all kinds of people. On there. And I do the conventions every year. And, you know, East Coast, West Coast, mostly West Coast. They did a convention for me to honor me, uh, gosh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 2017, and at $150 a seat for the dinner, I gave a presentation. They got a special car with my name on it, they got uh, a t shirt with my name on it. I was really honored. It's one of the truly special events of my career. And I worked on other things when I worked on tele. I worked on design appliances. Me, Kevin Jen Air, Gosh, uh, Sub Zero, Wolf, you name it. But uh, it is nice to be here still doing this. I'm glad I'm able to. Awesome, Bob. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, just one real quick. Um, I remember a long time ago, you, you went to Rio Hondo and you brought the Speed Racer car to the to the college. Uh, can you kind of brief how that was? Which car was that again? The, the, um, the Speed Racer one, the white one. You brought to Rio Hondo College? Yes, the white. The white uh, Speed Racer one. Speed Racer. Yeah, the Speed Racer? Oh, yes, yes. Now, that car belonged to somebody else, but they wanted me to uh, sit in it for them and then pose with it and then use it in a brain that I would drive it in, but then never materialized because of COVID and other things. But uh, we did that version. We did not get the license for that car in the 164 scale. Um, but uh, we did some different graphics on it, so we didn't call it uh, the car that it was meant to be. 
Licensing was always a problem with many things. Uh, sometimes we got to make a car, we didn't, you know, because who knows? You get the license or you don't. But, uh, oh, a good example of that, the DeLorean, that's a very popular car in the circle of uh, hidden pioneers, with uh, one of the hidden pioneers being one of the owners of one of those. And uh, we did a version that we thought was going to pass through the Orient, but it didn't. So we had to change the mold and we called it crucible. And, and you can basically see that it looks like that. DeLorean, but it wasn't. But I made a few from the factory before they changed over. Now they go for five, six thousand dollars. Um, of course, later we tell did get licensed and made some, but uh, so much for licensing and speed racer and stuff. Anything else? Uh, I, no, that's that's everything, Bob. I just want to say thank you for your time, and uh, you know we we always look forward to seeing you. It's always a great pleasure. Glad to be here. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bob.